Hello, and welcome to the 25th day of our 40 Days of the Cross video series. Each day we're taking just a few minutes, and we're going to look at a word which will help us better understand the meaning of the cross. Today's word is weakness. You know, last year at Riverside, we were studying Revelation chapter 5. In chapter 5, John the Revelator finds himself in the very throne room of Almighty God surrounded by angelic creatures and elders. The throne room of God the Father himself is in front of him. And in God's right hand is a scroll which is perfectly sealed with seven seals. Now this scroll contains part of the message that John has been called to record, but at first it looks as if no one is worthy to open the scrolls. But then one of the elders tells John there is one who has conquered and who can open the scroll. It is the lion of the tribe of Judah. But it's not a conquering lion who appears. Look at what it says in Revelation 5, 6. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain. You see, it was not a conquering lion that appears, but a bloodied lamb. Now that doesn't look like a powerful conqueror. A lamb is weak, but it was in that weakness that the Lamb of God conquered. It was through weakness that Jesus conquered sin, death, and the grave when he died on the cross. No one can kill God, that's ridiculous, unless God makes himself weak. And that's exactly what he did, taking on human frailty. God the Son weakened himself so that he could die upon the cross. Jesus' weakness was a choice that he made so that he could die on the cross. Through his weakness, his death on the cross was possible. And through the cross, our weakness, the weakness of sin, was conquered. Think about that. His choice of weakness led to the conquering of our weakness. The weakness of the, cro of the cross allowed Jesus to conquer death so that we could be offered eternal life. We'll talk more about eternity tomorrow. After we pray today, please take some time to meditate on how weakness led to the cross and how that weakness conquered death. Heavenly Father, our weakness separated us from you, but your son's acceptance of human weakness allowed him to give his life on the cross. Thank you for your sacrifice, which was empowered by your love for us. In the name of Jesus, who is love, amen. Thanks for listening today. Please take some time to think about the weakness that led Jesus or that led to Jesus' work on the cross.